I'm gonna stand right here, okay? okay. Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is another episode of Community Conversations. Today, my guest is... Nick Vatin from Panama City, Florida. And he has an accent, if you've noticed. Uh, I speak too many languages, so let's get close to a subject. I like short interviews. I don't like languages, so English is good, and in our planet, people should speak one language. It will be easy. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the mic right here. Okay. So we don't have to talk very loud. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. You're good, you're good, you're okay, good. That's great. I like, I, this is actually what we do. So do yeah. you, you want to have your glasses on or you, you're... How you like. It's up, it's up to you. I, uh, I, well, I'm saving my you? vision uh, <laughs> because of too much UV. We in okay, elevation you, more than Battle Mountain, Nevada. Okay, so just don't move. Okay. I won't move. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Who you are, whatever you want to, and what brings you out to Battle Mountain? I born and raised in Lithuania, former USSR, mm -hmm. in 1956. Mm -hmm. Don't remember what day exactly. Mm -hmm. And I became a diver in a rescue diving business, and it wasn't much to do during your duty mm -hmm. in a rescue diving station mm -hmm. unless you sitting answering phone and if accident happen you have to go mm -hmm. so once i create my tricycle cargo tricycle and start my welding business your welding business yes sir and you weld uh i fix cars bodies oh so I have my all welding equipment mm -hmm. in a tricycle box mm -hmm. and I transport all my equipment from one garage mm -hmm. to another garage. Mm -hmm. And I was able to leave my equipment over there. Surely people know about and we have something in our city like innovation community or innovation people mm -hmm. who do invention and all that. How long you been doing that? It was 1983, uh, exactly. 1983? Yes, sir. So hold on real quick. So you've been doing that longer than most of us probably watching this have been alive. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> You're, that's yes, longer than I've been alive. But count, I have tricycle. How old were you then? How old? In 1993? Wait, 90, 83. 83. 83. 83, 83, 96, I was 30, so subtract 3, mm -hmm. 27. You're 27 years old? Yes. I'm 30 years old. Ah, okay, now so I are. was younger than you, 3 years. Yeah, okay, now everyone okay. knows how old I am okay. right now. But So <laughs> they said I was concentrated into my voting business, mm -hmm. and these people told me that somewhere in about 200... Uh, miles uh -huh. or 300 kilometers in our capital uh -huh. uh, they have a bicycle festivals or fiesta with a special bicycle so i'm not a kilometers person how okay. far is that in miles 200 miles 200 miles yes 200 okay. miles okay in about 200 miles and there's a bicycle festival yes it was a bicycle festival mm -hmm. over there mm -hmm. and when i came there with my recumbent it was well, recumbent tricycle, I say, on three wheels. Mm -hmm. I saw other people racing real recumbent racers. Which so, recumbent? Different, different style. Recumbent okay. on two wheels, recumbent on three wheels. Oh, okay, so wheels. That okay. encouraged me. Mm -hmm. I have a time. They allowed me to go something like for three days. Mm -hmm. I have extra day. I said, listen, if they race so much mm -hmm. why i cannot return home with my tricycle mm -hmm. with a tent sleeping bag mm -hmm. and 
no heavy duty equipment. Mm. So I returned 200 miles. Mm -hmm. After that, I feel so much pleasure. And I start constructing racing mm -hmm. recumbents. I race recumbents a lot. You do? Yes, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And when Soviet Union fell apart, I ran away to Denmark. I lived there for five years. And then after Denmark, I decide to look at United States. Because I got invitation from some right. clu club uh -huh. for a ride in here over United States. So first I came to Chicago. And then I went to Dallas, Texas, spent mm. some life years in, I think four or three years in Dallas, Texas. Uh -huh. And then in 2002, this century, I moved to Florida, Panama City. Wow. So I have a question. Yes, sir. So I grew up in the United States. Okay. Right? So I'm very familiar with the United States. But I've been outside the United States a few times, but not enough to like really get the culture. Okay. So you being, you were born outside of the United States. Okay. Right. right? And how, what do you guys think about Americans? What did you know at the time? Like, America is cool. Or America is bad. Just be honest. <laughs> they have too much guns and they ride horses in a prairie. In a and they <laughs> fight with Indians. <laughs> That's what you knew? Yes, sir. <laughs> what do you think now? Now, I think it's a distances and a great gas and diesel prices. Especially <laughs> in the Battle Mountain, Nevada. <laughs> okay, when I left home, uh, 10 days ago, in Panama City, I felt my tank was cheapest, 305 <laughs> diesel. Right. In Battle Mountain, Nevada, 285. Love it. <laughs> what else do you like about the United States? What else? You guys get much sun there? Uh, I think I like Florida. <laughs> okay. Compare with Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas, I've been doing money. Uh, I have good jobs over there. But when I came to Florida, I said to myself, this is a place for me to spend the rest of my life. In Florida? Yes. Oh. Because I'm a diver. We have Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. We have tons oh. of springs, which I will not be able to dive during all my life. Mm. And I'm doing mostly videos on that subject about diving. And how long have you been doing diving and then the video thing? Videoing underwater, I start in 2006. Because mm -hmm. uh, my hobby when I was a professional diver, free diving. Mm -hmm. You know what is free diving? No, really, no. Uh, you know what is scuba diving? Mm -hmm. You get your tank with air supplies and you go underwater with a tank and you breathe. Free diving, you grab with your mouth as much air as you could and you go down without a tank. What are you going down there for? It's nice to be there. <laughs> it's fun. With no oxygen? Yes, without <laughs> oxygen, without air at all. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like breathing. <laughs> you may watch it on my channel. Yeah, I'll go to YouTube.com forward slash deep swim. Yeah, I'll check it out. Okay. So if you guys see any, um, check him out at uh, Deep Swim on YouTube. And the shots, the aerial shots that we're going to be shooting. Well, it's not us shooting. It's him shooting. So, okay. and if you see that, it's his shots that we're using in our videos. So we thank you so much for that. He was just like, yeah, take it. And then I was like, well, I kind of have to share too, you know? So I sent him some of my footage as well. Hopefully he sees that or thank uses that. Thank you very that. much Yeah, for that. thank you. I do really appreciate it yeah. because I have to make a technical explanation. Making videos, it's 10% of my time. 90% is editing room what you guys don't see. We'll probably you make a video. Yeah, It's on a website mm -hmm. when I'm posting videos. Uh -huh. Yeah, editing is... How you express editing. How do I express it? Yes, yourself. 
I, I had this conversation with someone yesterday and they said, like you said, 10% and you're adding on to that conversation. Basically, it's not the car. It's who's driving it. It's not the bikes that you see. It's who's riding it. It's not the camera equipment that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. It's who's behind it, you know, and it that's it's not the it's not the whatever you see it's who's behind the editing system so when i'm filming personally i'm thinking about how can i cut this right absolutely right uh in a diving pleasure once with my buddy like you uh -huh. we dove together we have one camera mm -hmm. okay and then in the same way i gave him my footage mm -hmm. my editing and his editing were absolutely different. It looks like similar. I missed. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.